All right, so here we have Winston. He's my uh, corn snake. He's still a young guy. He's maybe 16 plus inches. Uh, I've had him for maybe a month now. Uh, he has shed once. His shed was really long. Uh, it looked like it got stretched out quite a bit from him pulling it off. And I'm gonna be feeding him. He already did have one fuzzy today. But uh, my cat decided she was going to ruin the video, or he was going to ruin the video. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and feed him again. Uh, he usually eats about three every week. <clears throat> um, so uh, here we go. Now I'm not an expert and some of you may not know, but the, the way a snake is able to eat something larger than it is because they can dislocate their jaws. So as you can see right now, he, he has actually dislocated his jaw. Um, I'm not sure if that's the technical term or whatever for it, but yes, he's dislocating his jaw so he can fit his mouth around it. And then they use their extreme muscle mass to just wiggle it down and pull it through their bodies which I think is one of the most amazing parts which you'll see here pretty soon so uh, go ahead and keep watching As you can see, he, he worked that down pretty quickly. He's already putting his jaw back, and uh, you can see the you can see the the fuzzy moving through his body as he wiggles back and forth. I think it's pretty cool. I think corn snakes are one of the you know coolest starter snakes. One because of their colors, and uh, they're they're easy to care for. And also, if you know you become, you know, a hobbyist, you can get more and more. With corn snakes, you don't have to put them in separate tanks like other snakes. Now, not all snakes are like this, but the corns are very docile. They don't bite, and they will—they don't eat each other. I actually have two snakes in there, and uh, I'll go ahead and grab out the other one. The other one, uh, I'm not sure what she is or what it is. But I'm thinking it's a she, so for now it's a she. Um, <clears throat> when they are older, I do plan to get them sexed. Um, but I'll go ahead and get her or him out. This one's name is Garland. I've had this one for a little over a week. Um, I really like the coloring and the... Uh, the... Um, pattern on this guy because as you can see if I can show you he's got a little red line that goes all the way down his back all the way down his tail as you can see that one sh red line I think is pretty cool and as you can tell this guy is <coughs> extremely small compared to the other one and they you know they they go together just fine they actually curl up and sleep together underneath their uh 
little log there. So, um, <clears throat> in the future, I do not any time soon, but in the future, I do plan to uh, breed. So, I'm, I've been doing research, looking into that, talking with um, a couple of my friends who have bred before. I also work at a pet store, so uh, <clears throat> I happen to have two good co-workers who are really good with reptiles. They have their own extensive collections of 12 plus reptiles each. Uh, I'm currently at two snakes. I do have a cat and um, a fish tank with some uh, pretty cool stuff in there. And, uh, <clears throat> since my cat's over here being annoying, I can go ahead and give you a little shot at him. Kai. Kai. Hey. You're on camera, buddy. Are you still being annoying? <sighs> still being annoying? Oh, I took him off. But, um, yeah. I plan to do more videos. Uh, maybe some more feeding. Maybe the little guy, too. And uh, I will be showing off my fish tank. Just a quick run through. I, I have some turbo snails, some live rock, an anemone, some blue green chromis, a pajama cardinal, and a damsel. And today, when I went to pick up uh, his meal, I got a coral banded shrimp, which I've been trying to get, but it seems like every time we get them in at the store, somebody buys them before I get paid. But, uh,. This time, I was able to grab one, got a nice one, and I'll be uh, showing some videos of that too. Also, I have a decorator crab. Now, I've heard stories of decorator crabs and coral banded shrimps fighting, but we'll have to see. So far, so good. Of course, it's only been about a half an hour, but uh, I will be posting this stuff on my blog with some more information. Uh, if you have any questions, leave comments below. If you have anything you just want to say, you can leave comments below or uh, hit me up on my blog. Thanks for watching.